skills uh, defensive uh, defense out there. Pulling the one offensive rebound first half, uh, just kind of the way you attack them and attack the boards. Uh, I mean, that's something that we've been focusing on and a big emphasis for our team. Um, I mean, especially today, we started KP and Al, so uh, we're a little bigger. Um, but anytime, anytime we can force them to miss and, and get the rebound, then we can get off and run and do things in transition. So um, that's big for us. You guys had that, that lull at the start of the second quarter defensively, just some kind of unsettled offensive possessions. But then snapped out of the Joe was talking about how this team is just, this team, like this season, has generally done a really good job not letting those things linger. What's been the key to that for us? Yeah. Um, I mean, you try to minimize those as, as much as you can. And um, I mean, the flow of the game is going to happen. But um, I think that we just had a couple like turnovers or bad shots and let them get on run and uh, a little bit undisciplined. So um, anytime, anytime that happens, like you got to just snap out of it real quick. And I think we did a, a good job to end the, end the half and we, and we carried it over to the second half. What, what was your uh, thought process um, when Wemby broke free there? A lot of people were wondering if he broke through the block out there, some kind of a thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I was I was hoping he'd take another dribble and then I could try to do that, but he just picked it up and then I never saw it again, so I was just trying to get out the way. Um, I assumed he's going to take one more dribble, but uh, yeah, that was crazy. What did you think about Victor up close for the first time? Yeah, I mean, obviously his his length and uh, the things he can do on the court is, is pretty special. Um, like he's just starting to come into his own and figure out how to play in this in this league. So um, just a guy with his size to do what he can do is obviously pretty special. And um, he's just going to keep getting better. Greg Popovich said that when you first got to San Antonio, he wasn't sure you felt like you belonged in the league. Um, what was your thought process about that? And then how did they kind of instill confidence in you early in your career? How'd that change? Yeah, um, I mean, you know, everybody in the NBA was not everybody, but like high school, like they're like, oh, I got a chance to go to the league. Where I was in high school, I was like, let me try to get to college. Um, and so it's just kind of a little different story, I guess. But um, I mean, he just kept pushing me and uh, just knew he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. And um, obviously, my first year, I was in the G League, which allowed me to figure out the NBA game, and then. Um, and it's from there, just continue to push me and uh, just add that confidence. Uh, I mean, he used to be, I used to be in the middle room. He'd walk in and just say, you belong, and walk out. So just little things like that, which is it's cool to hear from the greatest coach of all time. Yeah, what does that mean, to hear from that from Greg Popovich? Yeah, uh, I mean, it meant a lot. Uh, I mean, it probably took longer than just hearing that and, like, oh, yeah, I belong. But uh, just constantly saying uh, in my corner and, and believing in me, uh, it definitely went a long way. How, have you, like, how would you compare yourself now, confidence-wise, to your rookie year? <laughs> um, I mean, my rookie year, I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, I think every rookie, it's different for them, but um, it's a whole new league. Um, this is something you watched since you were a y young kid, so... Um, now I just feel more comfortable. Like I know I belong in this league. I know uh, what I can do in this league, and um, just got to continue to improve and, and work on those things. Was there a time or a moment when you started to feel that shift? That I, I belonged. Mm -hmm. Um, probably like in the second year, I was like, oh, I can I can play in this league. Um, and then after that, you gotta just continue to improve and um, work on things. So um, that second year, I was like, oh, I can play here, and then. Um, a lot of guys have like that moment, and I just wanted to continue to push it so I can uh, play a, a long time in this league. Just your thoughts of coming back and playing here and the reaction? Of yeah, it's it's always going to be special to come back to San Antonio. I mean, this is where I started. This is this is uh, so many great memories and times here on the court, off the court. Um, so every time I come back here, it's going to be special. But the fans today were unreal. Um, I mean, even the Boston fans that are here in San Antonio, crazy, and I'm just all thankful and, and grateful for it all. Good evening, officers. Uh, you know, I just want to ask you, a lot of success going on with Colorado in the men's and women's program. Uh, what do you have to say about you know, what Todd Boyle's done for you and also just the success they're having right now? 
Yeah, yeah, the basketball uh, program on the men and the women is, is unreal right now. Um, we got two of the, the top point guards on, on both the men's and the women's side. Um, I mean, I, I was with the, the men's side a little bit this summer and just seeing them and their work ethic, uh, I'm excited for them and uh, they're looking really good right now. Yeah, uh, man, I'm just thankful and grateful. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to go out there and help us win. Um, I think if I if I was to make an All Star game, it's a uh, it's because of how much we're winning and uh, the type of team we have. So I'm just thankful to be part of this team and this this organization and the culture that we're building here. And um, me making it or not making it uh, doesn't change the fact that I'm just thankful to be here. Presented by your New England Ford dealers, built for America. Built Ford Proud.